It's an area with a long-standing reputation for violence and gang activity. We're so used to seeing the kids play outside and stuff, and now it's not even like that anymore. Janelle Scott Johnson says she keeps to herself so there's no chance of getting into trouble, but she knows there's pockets you don't go near. Make no mistake, gangs rule the territory, and the so-called Galloway boys have owned these parts for a long time. Just ask the police. The Galloway boys uh, typically are just a little bit south of here, uh, off of Kingston Road in the Galloway area. This would uh, normally be referred to as the Orton Park area. During what many call the largest street gang investigation in Toronto's history, 17 arrests were made in 2004, including charges of first-degree murder that resulted in three men being convicted in 2009. The long-standing gang rivalry stems from a confrontation with another group that calls the streets of this area home. The Malvern crew has its fair share of ties to criminal activity in the past as well. Malvern gang members were also rounded up by police in 2004. Many from both gangs have since been released. Just a few days ago, another man was killed after being shot in the chest and head in the same neighborhood. Residents don't want to believe it's happening all over again. People, you know, just bring that rep in to the area, you know what I mean? Like, it, people die everywhere. Back in Galloway, those reaching out to offer help say it's not as bad as others make it out to be. The stigma about the neighborhood often comes from outside the neighborhood, from people who don't understand the neighborhood or know the neighborhood very well. Some aren't taking any chances. I'm not really out and about after the whole thing. It's not the same anymore. Not much has changed, actually, including the reluctance to speak out. Mark McAllister, Global News.